New tonight, Orlando is nearing six years since 49 people were killed in a shooting at Pulse nightclub. One Pulse Foundation wants to build a museum to honor the victims. But as Fox 35's Valerie Boy shows us, some loved ones of those killed don't like that idea. Well, as plans for a national Pulse museum and memorial enter its final design, some victims and relatives are against it. He's being robbed of his dignity by making him into a circus sideshow. Christine Leinonen still mourns over the loss of her son Christopher, who was killed in the Pulse tragedy six years ago. She's now part of the Community Coalition Against Pulse Museum. She thinks it's wrong for the One Pulse Foundation to build a museum and even created a petition. When I first uh, started the change.org, um, petition, I got over 45,000 people who were just um, disgusted. The One Pulse Foundation released this statement saying in part, the museum serves as the venue for the history of the story so it can be told for future generations. It will serve as an important place to tell the detailed individual stories of the victims and survivors, the response from the world, and for dialogue and education to help us realize our promise that we will not let hate win. Having a permanent museum and memorial will have it here in the community so that people can go on a daily basis. George Wallace is the CEO of the LGBTQ Plus Center. He says there are many against and for the museum. It will offer educational opportunities. It will offer a place for people to gather uh, that they didn't have before. Pulse victim Orlando Torres agrees but says it's a disrespect that those that we're here living, uh, waiting so long for something to be built. Christine plans to fight the museum being built for the sake of her son. They may as well just take this Pulse Museum and put it snap dab right in the middle of Disney World and just call it what it is, a tourist attraction. Of course, the One Pulse Foundation says the National Pulse Memorial and Museum and the Orlando Health Survivors Walk will be a sanctuary of healing for everyone. In Orlando, Valerie Boy, Fox 35 News.